I thought I would just share some of my own experience in this journey of leading an art ministry, of creating an art ministry, really. It just started grassroots level in our church. So God put it on my heart to uh, explore the arts in the context of church and worship. And then I looked around me and other people were catching the vision and coming alongside of me in this thing. So, you know, I would just kind of watch them and see who gravitated to what in the arts. And then we just kind of made up a position for that person. Um, how would you like to be in charge of this? You know, because they were already doing it. So, you know, we weren't just, we weren't trying to invent something first and then doing it. We were doing it first and then following through with a title for that person after it was established. You'll find people that are gravitating to you and to that ministry. Um, they're mostly administratively gifted people uh, because they not only like doing art, but they like making things happen in the arts. Those are the kind of people that you want. <laughs> so, uh, you know, test it out with them. You know, if make sure they have some follow through and make sure they're going to be faithful in in doing this position if, if you actually appoint them to something. I would suggest waiting and doing that with the person for a while before they actually own the title of that position. So just do some, be in action, be in action as a team first and then invent your roles according to what you've already been doing. That's one of the principles that we've learned from our pastor, Pastor Tri Robinson. He, uh, this is very relevant to the art ministry or to any ministry is that first somebody has the vision for it, then you have a culture that comes up around you that um, if it's God, you're going to see this culture appear. Just people coming out of the woodwork to join you in this adventure, and that's the culture. Now you don't have any structure yet. You're probably not getting paid for anything yet. You don't have a budget yet. You're just doing it because it's grassroots level. and then after everything is in action and people are already doing certain things that they gravitate to, um, certain tasks that they love or certain facets of the arts that they're drawn to and they're doing it and they're making things happen and people are actually coming up around those people, um, that's when you can apply the structure to whatever it is that's just naturally forming. So um, first is the vision, then the culture, then the structure. Then you go back and revisit the vision, and just it just goes like a machine. All of those principles and more are in Tri Robinson's book, Revolutionary Leadership. I highly recommend that book for anybody that's launching any kind of ministry. There'll be people who come up alongside you just like a flash in the pan, and then they'll, they'll disappoint you. Some people will. It's just a fact, and you have to have grace to let that happen. You have to have grace to hold the ministry with an open hand um, and just say, God, your will be done. Allow people the freedom to make mistakes and to grow. Um, have a lot of grace for people. That's the important thing, is the people. <laughs> it's not what we do.